In this video, I'll show you how I painted this Necron Warrior. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and for this video we will be painting a Necron Warrior. So in prior videos, I painted models for my Dark Angel Space Marine Army. However, I decided that I wanted to try something different now, and I decided to start painting a Necron Army. Looking forward to seeing how this turns out, so without further ado, let's get going. After assembling the model, the first thing that I did was prime it with Lead Belcher Spray Paint. Now there are actually two reasons why I use the Lead Belcher Spray Paint. The first is, of course, because I need to prime the model. The second reason is to save time, since most of the model would have been painted in Lead Belcher anyways. Now, if you don't have the Lead Belcher Spray Paint, you could of course just prime it with a different color such as Grey Seer, or Chaos Black, and then paint it with Lead Belcher Paint as normal. One final thing to note is that I noticed that the Lead Belcher Spray Paint has a slightly darker tint to it than the normal Lead Belcher Paint here. That being said, the process that I'm going to use will apply to whether you use the spray paint or the normal paint. Next we're going to be using Brass Scorpion to paint these armor pieces that are on the top half of the warrior's back and assuming that your base has it, the back half of this little scarab here. Next we're going to be using Corax White to paint the following areas. The eyes, the spaces between the ribcage, the wire here, these orbs on the gun, and then this little circle on the scarab. Next I'm going to be using Abaddon Black to paint this symbol that's in the center of the chest. Next I'm going to paint this rock here that the scarab is on using Dawnstone. Alright, I did a little bit of touching up and I think it looks a bit cleaner now. Just a couple of things before we move on. The first thing is, some of you may have noticed, or I should say many of you have probably noticed, but there was a piece that I forgot to cut off the chest here. It, I mean, it's off now. I should have noticed it before. I have a feeling that because everything was just blending in together with the, the grays when I was assembling the model, I just missed it. So that's on me. Hopefully that won't happen again. 
The second thing is, I've decided to paint the skull and the chest in normal lead belcher paint. The reason is because the normal lead belcher paint is a little bit shinier and brighter than the lead belcher spray paint. And, you know, I don't want to do the whole thing in the normal lead belcher paint, but I decide, you know what, let's make the skull and chest a little bit shinier. Admittedly, it's not that noticeable in terms of difference between the lead belcher spray paint and the normal paint, but I just prefer having a little bit more shine in those areas. I think going forward, with future Necron models, say, you know, Necron Immortals, I'll probably paint the whole model with the normal lead belcher paint. Next, we're going to paint the back half of the gun and then the cylinders here using Black Templar contrast paint. Next, I'm going to use Nuln Oil to shade all the areas that are lead belcher, whether it's using the lead belcher spray paint or the normal paint. Okay, just FYI, I did do a few touch-ups on the areas painted in Corax White. Next, we're going to use Brass Scorpion again to dry brush the symbol that's on the center of the chest. Lastly, we're going to be applying Tesseract Glow onto all the areas painted in Corax White. Now, a quick note about the Tesseract Glow. You may notice that when you first buy the bottle, it's dark green on the bottom and then a yellowish liquid for the rest of the bottle. You need to make sure that all of that is actually mixed together so that it's this uniform neon greenish color that you see here on the bottle. Alright, here's my painted Necron Warrior, which is the first Necron model I've ever painted, and as always, I wanted to provide some quick commentary. First off, it was a bit of trial and error painting this model. I changed a couple of things as I was progressing through the painting. For example, initially I wasn't planning on having the ribcage glow, but as I was painting the model, I thought that painting the ribcage with Tesseract Glow would look cool. Also. Going forward for future Necron models, I still plan to use the Lead Belcher spray paint as a primer for these models. 
However, after I prime the model, any areas that I intend to have as lead belcher will be painted over with normal lead belcher paint from the bottle. For this Necron Warrior, I only did that for the skull and chest, but I think I'll do it for the entire body next time. That being said, at a distance when you're using these models on the tabletop, the lead belcher spray paint and bottle paint doesn't look that much different from each other, especially after you add a coat of Null Oil on it. Anyways, that's the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.